Hey hello guys and welcome to a new video and today I got something really cool to share with you guys and I already ate my keyboard for this, my mouse, my monitor, my computer, my video card because this is gonna be so epic. So what is the news? Well, Dream Execution, also known as the developer of Warwick, made a new game called Phantomers and this is a first person shooter. And it's gonna be amazing. Well, I just found out that they had a website launched a few days ago about this uh, game. And we're gonna take a look at this website. We're gonna take a look at the characters, um, features, maps, uh, also the uh, modes they have and the download page and also some screenshots. So let's scroll a bit through the website and I will show you everything you should know or that is really interesting to look at. And the first thing we are gonna go to is features. And uh, it's saying the next gen first person shooter. Um, well, that sounds like music to my ears to be honest. And it's also saying strategic combat in opposing roles. There's a picture here and it's showing a heavy trooper with a minigun and a assault I think with a famas. I'm not sure like this is not Warwick you know it's a different game. So I'm not sure if this is a heavy trooper or that is an assault you know. But um, the minigun and the famas are really feared weapons in Warwick you know they are really overpowered. And I'm not sure about this game are they really overpowered in that game as well. So that's a really good question and um, we are gonna scroll a bit down. I'm not gonna read everything that is like here you know there's a lot of stuff I can read but I'm not gonna do it guys. You can read it afterwards if you want to there's a link in the description of this website. So we got another picture here and it looks really badass. As you can see here it's saying unique characters choose your own characters having abilities make your own unique strategy. So as you can see there's a drone here. Um, some kind of robot looking like R2-D2 uh, from Star Wars. I think this is like a, a sensor for the sniper. And this is a minigun or a sentry. We got also a grenade launcher on the picture. And the guy was wearing this weapon. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's an M249 for the people who want to know it. I'm not a weapon expert, okay? And I'm not sure about this weapon. It looks like a flash bazooka. So you can uh, make your own characters, that's what it's saying here, or choose your own characters. And as far as I know, you can also customize your characters with ports and stuff like that, so that's really cool. But having drones in a game, that's awesome, serious. So let's keep going. We got various firearms, experience numerous uh, firearms in Phantomers. So we got some weapons here, um, skinned weapons like Warwick as well. I'm not sure if these skinned weapons are better than the normal weapons because in Warwick not every skinned weapon is better than a, a default weapon. So I'm really curious about that. It's an M4A1 and you can customize it I think with scopes and stuff. So that's really really cool. Um, it's also saying here you can choose uh, assault rifles, submachine guns, uh, sniper rifles, machine guns, shotguns etc. Oh, that sounds really, really awesome. The next thing we see here is the enchant your weapons with obtained items to superior level. So that means if you level up, you uh, can get better weapons, I think. That's what it's saying here. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But that's what I think because it's saying level up here. And uh, you get a weapon somehow. An AK-47 G3R. Looks really cool. It's a, it's a skinned one, I'm not sure. It's also saying uh, that there is a grip on it and a scope. So you can add scopes and other stuff to your weapons. I don't know guys, but that's so cool. Like I can add different skins myself. I can add scopes to it, red dot sights. It's a little bit Battlefield meets Call of Duty of course, but it's a free to play game. And if you can do that kind of stuff here is really, really awesome. So we are gonna go a little bit down here. And this is really interesting. Uh, dynamic level design. Be ready to be surprised by outstanding level design. And I think that the levels or the maps in here are not just normal maps. Um, there's like some interaction in the maps. As you can see here, there's fire. That means that you should watch out. If you run there, you will burn and you will die. You can also see some traps here. It's like, uh, <laughs> it's like Warwick meeting Indiana Jones. You can uh, have traps in the maps and you should watch out. And in the meanwhile, you just have a shooter and shooting at each other. So that's really nice. You have to watch out that you are not getting killed by the environment and by your enemies. So that's really nice because I see spears here. I see, um, I don't know what this is, but it looks like some kind of Egyptian um, trap. I don't know. But this, this, these maps look really nice and I love the graphics, the textures are looking great. Um, and of course our games will have better graphics but 
uh, for a free-to-play game. These are uh, really outstanding graphics. So that's that's basically the first page. Um, let's go to the next one. And this one was already really interesting, I know. Let's go to the characters. And loading, loading, loading. So the first character we see here is the Rifleman. I think the Rifleman is the... Uh, Assault, but I'm not sure because I also see here pointman. Maybe that's the assault, but it's having bullets, so that means it's an assault, right? So the favorite weapon of this guy is the machine gun. It's an M32, and um, it's an offensive type ability with powerful revolver type grenade launcher. So it's a grenade launcher, okay? So that's your um, standard weapon. You don't have to buy it, you just have this weapon. And, uh, well, the grenade launcher in Warwick, for example, is also really overpowered. So I'm really curious how this weapon reacts in the game. But it's still in beta, so um, there's a lot of things that can be changed later on. And your skill you got is the um, sentry gun. And, well, a sentry sounds like really overpowered to me as well, but I'm not sure. Maybe these guns aren't doing that much damage, you know, you never know. Um, and it's saying... While searching close areas, it automatically converts combat mode. When enemy is detected, sentry drone can outlive the player for designated seconds. So it's like some kind of a little system that tracks enemies and kills them. And this is just a basic um, loadout. So these weapons are with the character and you don't have to buy them at all. And that's really nice. And of course, the gun should be a little bit overpowered uh, if you want to start with the game with normal weapons. So uh, let's go to the next one. The next one is the sniper. Um, the sniper, what is it saying? Camping play for one shot, one kill. Well, I'm not sure if you want to have campers in a game, but maybe, maybe, yeah. So uh, the sniper has a LXM46. And this weapon has like a knife on front of it. That looks really, really badass. And it can fire sticky bombs <laughs> onto the target accurately uh, through the scope so that sounds really uh, advanced you know it's like uh, having a modern warfare in a game and that's really nice that you can shoot with sticky bombs so uh, it also has a skill and that's the scan sensor and it has a support type ability which scans and shows the spot of enemies in your eyes and on the minimap so you can just put it there and then just scope on people that are close to you so that's a really cool thing. I thought it was R2-D2 from uh, Star Wars. You know, the little robot that can talk. But um, it isn't. It's a sensor. Um, and the next one we got is the Pointman. Yeah, this this would be the Medic, I think. Um, what does it has? Well, it has a scan grenade. Uh, support type ability which scans enemies in a limited area. The scanned enemies are identified by outlines in red for a couple of seconds. So, if I would throw this grenade into the... Uh, map it would scan and then you can just uh, see through walls and see where they are I think so it's like a little GPS nade that you can throw for a few seconds and then you can see where everyone is so that's really nice nice it's like the sniper sensor but then one that you can throw you know so it also has a supply rack and that's really interesting I said it like it's a medic with ammo it also has ammo somehow um, it's saying health increased by extra 30% and stamina magazine at max. Maximum of 5 can be supplied nearby supply rack by pressing E. So is this like a package I can drop in the map and players can just get it and refill their ammo? Or is it like in Warwick if I throw an ammo box, people are gonna walk over it and then it disappears. Is this gonna be something that stays in the map and everyone can keep uh, refilling their ammo there or... I don't know, that's really a question I'm asking myself. And also, can you reload everything? Can you also reload your grenades or your um, sensor or your um, minigun you have or the sentry gun for the assault? So, that's that's really a question I have for now. But we will soon find out, of course. So, the next character we're going to take a look at is the engineer. And the engineer is wearing EMP grenades. And with these EMP grenades, you can steal enemy skill points or also skill gogs. That's how they call them, but I like to say skill points. It's easier for me to say that. But um, if you steal those points, you can use them to spawn, for example, this sentry drone. 
or uh, use the uh, sentry gun for the, uh, how was he called, the rifleman. And for the sniper, the sensor. And for the pointman, the ammo boxes. So I think you can just steal those skill points from other players. And I also think that when you kill a player, you get skill points from him. And you can use that again to get a sentry drone, for example. So I think that also means that, for example, if I use a sentry drone, it's not going to be there forever. I think I can just use it for 20 seconds or 10 seconds. So it's not a, a permanent item I can use in the map forever. So I really have to gain those skill points all the time. I'm not sure about this, but that's what I think so far. I'm like Sherlock Holmes, you know. I think about everything right now. And I think like, hey, can I do this or can I do that? And that's what I think about this. And um, this character also has the uh, uh, sentry drone. It's an offensive ability and is an unmanned combat drone. While searching his close areas, it automatically confirms combat mode when enemy is detected. So this um, drone is just automatically shooting at players as well. It's it's the same as the sentry uh, gun, I think. But I think this one is harder to kill. But if this game is having like stingers and weapons like that, you can just lock this drone and shoot it out of the air. And I'm also not sure if you can like upgrade these drones. Is it like this is the drone and that's it? Or can you also um, upgrade this drone with new kinds of weapons or missiles or stuff like that? I'm also... Really asking myself uh, that question. So the last character we're going to take a look at is the Destroyer. Also known as the Heavy Trooper. And this guy is wearing a minigun. And uh, well a minigun is really nice. Like you can spray with it. You don't have to aim. You know you don't have to aim at anyone. Because you got bullets forever you know. Well not forever but you got a lot of bullets. Um, and it also has a blast sensor. And this uh, sensor is um, automatically exploding in many directions so i think it's like a cluster mine on the ground and i'm not sure why they have a heavy trooper or destroyer in this game because it doesn't have a battle group mode guys it doesn't have any tanks or uh, vehicles not yet maybe they will add it later but as far as i know they don't have it for now so i'm not sure why they have this guy in the game but maybe there's a good reason for that so let's go to uh, another tab here. We're gonna go to the game modes. And well that's one of the most important things in my opinion about this game. So this game is having team deathmatch. Um, 8 vs 8 uh, time limit of 10 minutes. And it has team reaching 75 kill points first to win or more kill points after time runs out. Here you can see the team deathmatch maps. It has Machu Picchu, Uxmal, Palenque I think. S1, Factory, Shikwai, Hangar Egypt, Memphis, Kukulkan, Soho, Suez, Dashur, and Kankuyan, I think. I hope I'm saying it right. These names are also not really familiar for me. As you can see, these maps look really interesting. As you can see, again, for example, this one, the Dashur, has some traps in there that you should watch out for, I think. So that's Team Deathmatch and um, we even got um, Search and Destroy. Um, as you can see this guy is planting a bomb as you can see um, and it looks cool. I'm not sure what that bomb is. It looks really huge. It looks like C4. I don't know. Um, this is also a player limit of 8 vs 8. Every round is taking 2 minutes and 30 seconds. You got uh, 7 rounds and well you have to plant a bomb. It's like... Uh, explosive in Warwick you know it's just planting a bomb and the enemy has to um, defuse it or the enemy has to plant a bomb and you have to defuse it so that's it and um, the next one is uh, free for all that's for the guys who like to gain XP of course the player limit is also 8 vs 8 time limit 10 minutes and the mission is to kill everyone you know like no one is your um, teammate you have to kill everyone that's free for all right so yes right this is really good news for the guys who like to gain a lot of xp and i also got news that this game has like ranks and levels so you can just level up so don't worry this is the perfect game for you if you like gains so the next uh, thing we are gonna go to game mode is uh, domination this also uh, has a player limit of 8 vs 8 i'm not sure why every game mode here is 8 vs 8 but maybe there's also a reason for that. I don't know. I would also like to play 4 versus 4. Or maybe with even more players. So I'm not sure about that. But um, it looks like it's going to be 8 versus 8 for now. The time limit is 5 minutes per round. Um, and the round is 2 round. Position is changed after 1 round ends. And the mission is to top score. Uh, or be the top score team. And you have to win uh, during 2 rounds. So I'm not really sure what this is going to be. 
Now it's saying the many friendly force are occupying the target the faster the occupying time runs. So this is maybe something like skill pointer and death hill in Warwick. You have to take a objective and then it's gonna count a lot of points and when it's done with that you just won the, uh, the match or the round. And the last game mode we got here is Headquarter and I'm not sure about this, I'm just gonna read what it's saying here. The mission is to uh, reach 250 points with your team and the first one who got that uh, uh, amount of points will win the round or the match. Um, it's also saying multiple targets are located on the map. When the game begins one of the targets is selected, such targets become online after 30 seconds. After the target goes online, players should occupy it. Once the target is occupied, the defense team is unable to respawn. Ah, so they're taking a uh, target and then your team can't respawn anymore. So that means if you die, you can't respawn. And when everyone from that team is dead, they just won the match, I think. So that are the game modes, guys. I hope this is interesting for you guys. So the next page we're gonna go to is the guide page and in my opinion this is the most interesting page of the whole uh, uh, website. It's showing the uh, lobby here, you can also take a look at the inventory, the store, my items, events, waiting room, in-game interface and the controls. And as you can see this is the lobby, this is how the lobby looks like. And it's not really chaotic, it's uh, really uh, big, I mean the, the buttons are really big. It's really easy to hover uh, over all the uh, buttons here. As you can see this is your character. And you can switch here from character, I think, on the left side. All your, also, your level is showing here. As you can see, this guy is level 6. And he needs 12,000 XP to go from level 6 to level 7. Uh, also, some other information like messages and uh, in-game money. Uh, number 7 is the chat. Uh, you got news here. And you can play a ranked match. That's really, really cool. I just see it for the first time, guys. So, uh, it's also new for me. And also, a custom match. I think a custom match is just an... A normal match but playing ranked that's so cool like competitive is coming to this game and that's really nice I, I love to play something like this like playing competitive because I really miss that sometimes to play competitive so basically this is the lobby uh, let's go to the next one um, inventory and as you can see here's a medic and she looks uh, really sexy yes that's right I can't like deny it so uh, this is the uh, uh, infantry and uh, you can have a lot of weapons here. We see a few weapons here. The Scar H, also the Uzi, the MP5, of course everyone knows that one. The M40, uh, a shotgun here, an M4, G36, G36, M3, that are like skinned ones. Dragonov, the Colt, the Colt again, uh, maybe another one. Another Colt and AK-47 and I can't really read this one. But um, as you can see, we got some new weapons in this game and also some old weapons that you can also play in Warwick with. Uh, for example, the uh, MP5 and the Colt. And this Uzi looks so badass in the right corner with that uh, silencer on it. Um, as you can see, you got some slots here. Uh, first slot is for the uh, assault weapon or the uh, main weapon. Uh, second is the hand pistol. Third one is the knife and the fourth one is grenade. And that's almost the same like Warwick and I think you can even add more slots, I'm not sure about it. So that's the inventory, you can also hover over more, you can also show the uh, character here. Here we go, as you can see um, this is one of the characters, this is the Heavy Trooper as you can see. And um, it has a Uzi, well a Heavy Trooper with an Uzi, that's really interesting. Or should I say the uh, Destroyer, because I'm saying Heavy Trooper. You also have the characters here as you can see, you can choose one of them. Uh, let's go to the assist parts. Not sure what this is. Oh yeah, this is really interesting. These are just PX items. So basically you can see here fast hand. That's just a fast reload. Takedown. And you can just add that to your character to make it stronger. And uh, these things are just PX items as far as I know. Because the fast hand is a, a fast reload, I think. I think it is. Because there's like a, a clip from an, uh, a weapon here with a time clock. Well... We can't deny that it's a fast reload, I think. So we also got a weapon info page. As you can see it says uh, what kind of parts are on this weapon and some more stuff. Um, we can also go to the next one. I'm just gonna go through this really quick because otherwise this video is gonna be like hours, you know. So the next one is enchantment and enchantment page shows you... Um, the um, stats of your weapons for example as you can see here the famas there's like a little web here with stats and then you can see how much accuracy it has or damage or whatever you want to know 
the store is looking like this and as you can see they are selling different kind of weapons and um, I'm not sure why these weapons are all the same. Are they like selling different kind of AK-47s or different kind of M60s? I don't know about that. Maybe it's saying it here. Items for sale. You can view and purchase the items for sale. So it's not really saying uh, anything about uh, that the weapons are different. And it's also saying gold and diamond. You can see the gold and diamond holdings. I think uh, they are going to sell uh, gold and diamond premiums and that you have to uh, buy these ones with a golden uh, strap here on the weapon that you can only buy them with premium like you have in war gold premium this is going to be gold diamond that's what i think so uh, let's go to the next page and that's my item so here you can just see what kind of items you have well this is not really looking that interesting let's just go to the next one this is called uh event or wait 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 i missed one i missed one wait item opening what is it what is this this looks also really weird. And this is like Illuminati confirmed, right? So let's go to the event page. And this is really interesting because uh, you see those little gold statues there. The gold one and the silver one. Next to it you see the uh, dates of the game. So that means that this game is going to come out on 2015. And it also means that you can steal golden statues and silver statues to get weapons, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe there's like an event where you have to steal a statue. This is really sounds like it's an Indiana Jones game. I don't know about that yet, but um, it's it's giving a date, so that's really interesting. Um, let's go to the waiting room, and the waiting room is showing us um, the in-game uh, lobby, or your room lobby. As you can see, you can choose uh, some stuff here. It's not really um, saying anything about it yet. You can select a ranked match with custom match. But it's not saying what you can do there, like the time limit or how many plays you want to have in the room. As far as I know, it's just 8 vs 8, you can't change it. But maybe, maybe you can change it. I don't know. I don't know. So this is the in-game lobby and how it looks like. Um, not not the uh, room lobby. I'm sorry. The in-game lobby. As you can see, you got two rooms here. One shot, one kill. It's like Warwick. It's the same name, by the way. Um, let's go into the in-game uh, interface. And this is one of the key uh, things you want to see, I think. This is how it looks in game. And as you can see, we got a map here. We got a counter here, how many wins you have. Also, uh, the current standing of the first player in the room. Also, uh, the uh, uh, kill um, feed. So, who killed who. Um, there's not a, a weapon here. Well, it's saying which weapon it is. But it's not showing a weapon like in Warwick. It's just showing a skull. Um, it's also has a, having a... Um, what is it? I don't know what this is. Wait. Five. Ability. So, this is the ability uh, part. And you also got number 6. And number 6 is showing um, your kill message. And um, number 7 is your stamina. Number 8 is your health gog. And number 9 is your weapons information. So this is how it looks like in game. This is also with the graphics. I'm not sure if this is like the ultra graphics. But it looks fine to me. Um, the last page we're going to go to is the control page. Here you can see the controls with your mouse. What you can use. There's no roll function anymore. There's just a sprint function. You can't really roll in this game anymore. And I'm really sad about that. Because I love to roll in Warwick. And it's a really easy way to uh, kill enemies. But it's not going to happen here anymore. So that's the control page. And uh, we can uh, go to the last thing I want to show you guys. And that are the screenshots. Um, of the game so I'm gonna show you some screenshots right now in the screen as you can see we got uh, um, a, a grenade launcher here this map is uh, really exotic as you can see it looks a little bit like Lost Temple from uh, Warwick so here's another picture as you can see on the right there's a guy uh, called MZ test 1111111 and he is a rifleman so that's how it looks like in game that's how the assault looks like in game and here's a picture of the dead cam. And as you can see the MZ Test 888 made a kill with his AK-47. Um, it's like the dead cam from Warwick of course. Not sure if this dead cam is going to be a free item or that you have to buy it. And here's another uh, picture of uh, capturing a point. Or um, yeah it's like capturing a flag. And uh, as you can see on the flag there's an Illuminati sign. I'm not sure why this game is like all about the Illuminati. Here's another screen uh, from the sensor from the sniper that you can place on the ground. You can also uh, see that it's also detecting your own teammates. I'm not sure why it's detecting my own teammates. Because like you can already see them uh, by their names right. If someone is in a building I can see his name popping up right. So I'm not sure why you got a sensor for that so yeah guys that's it i want to thank you for watching and i know this video was really long but this game is like so cool and 
DreamHacks using is not making a lot of games. So that's why I wanted to make an extra long video about this. Do you have any questions regarding this game? Let me know that in the comments. And of course, feel free to discuss in this video or in the comments. So that's it, guys. And as always, say, and I see you guys next time.